Raps, and we're coming to you from the Rap Studios for another episode of Studio Rap, and I am here with the star of Love on the Air. That's right. Allison Sweeney. Hi. I was watching last night, and this is a really fun little movie. Thank you. It's cute, and Thank it's you. a departure for you. Very big difference from Days for Our Lives, yeah. for sure. For so them. Love on the Air is a romantic comedy about okay. two um, radio talk show hosts. And my character Sonia is definitely a strong woman who believes in yeah. being an island and being independent. But on the other end of the spectrum is Nick, who has the man cave radio show, yes. and he's sort of all about love them and leave them. Yes. And the boss thinks they'd have a, they should have a, a show together. Show. Now you had worked with Hallmark uh, Channel before. Yes, I yes. did a movie called Murder She Baked. Is that how this came out? They were sort of like, we, we want to do another project, but you had you had aspirations to sort of produce, and I want to no, get. No, I actually had brought it to them almost two years ago. We've been in development for this movie for a long time. You really learn uh, as a soap actress everything about sort of the production, right? For sure. So did you carry that over? And, and I want you to speak to that a little bit of sort of the biggest difference of when you were having to like wear both hats Yeah, for the there's first a time. lot of um, things that you learn working on a soap, especially for as long as I was at Days, uh, about behind the scenes and about, yeah. um, you know, how to make a production work, how to work on a budget, how to shoot as quickly as you humanly can. Yeah. It's it's definitely, you know, they don't call it show art, it's show business. <laughs> yes. you know? So Or show um, friends. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> as an actor you want to say like, oh give me one more take and then as a producer I'd be like, I I was fine. You'll be yeah, fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> Let's just move on. <laughs> and so finding that balance, like I felt like Jekyll and Hyde a bit in my own head, you know? Yeah. And the director even had to say to me one day in a real in the particularly emotional scene at the end, you know, that today you're not a producer. He told me that today you are an actor and I don't want you with your producer hat on telling yourself yeah. that you don't have time to get ready or do the take again. What's the biggest difference? What's easier? What's been harder? It's certainly like still being in daytime is the hardest thing I've ever done. So yeah. everything else I do is is not as labor intensive. <laughs> yeah. Like nothing will ever be as hard as the day I had 99 pages of dialogue at Days of Our Lives. So from here on out, like yes. you, you're not telling me anything I don't already know. Like I'm yes. good. So give us like your like for uh, fans watching, um, why do they have to tune into Hallmark? Oh, to see this? I really hope you tune in. It's super fun. Um, it's a great romantic comedy, and if I may say, I feel like it's a great date night movie because my husband actually likes it. He was all no, like, I prepared myself to like, oh, it's really good, honey, and he's like, yeah, it's really it was good. Actually good. <laughs> he was like surprised. I think you're right. I do put up fences. Sorry, I just I got lost right after you said you're right. Um, so tell us a little bit about, because you rap days and obviously fans watching this, tell us a little about what you can tell us about the 50th comeback. I know, and like I don't that? even know um, what I'm supposed to say, but I shot it in May of this year. It's just a couple of shows. Oh, um, so it's not like a two week or a month even. Well, it's a couple of shows now and then a couple of shows later. I don't later. know if I'm talk about it. Talk but about it anyway, okay. so it's a little, there's a couple different things that happen. Now there are other NBC show which we were all disappointed. Tell us a little about, what happened? Biggest Loser, you just were like, I've done this. I'm, um, yeah. You know, it was, it was time to okay. do something something different and, and it you know I hadn't been working on there since yeah. like October essentially of last year yeah and so for me uh, I had to move on with my career and like find other things it was, there were so many questions about the show and what yes. was gonna happen and in the meantime I started producing these movies you know it was so exciting to take new steps in yeah. a different direction and get back to my um, acting which is just something I've done since I was four years old so yeah. also I, I look at my kids and I want to be a good role model to them and, yes. and have them see me follow my dreams and encourage them to do the same thing. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Thanks for having me. And good me. luck. And tell the fans where they can catch Love on the Air is going to be on the Hallmark Channel this Saturday night, right after the season finale of Cedar Cove. It's on at 9 p.m. 8 Central. Watch it. Just tweet with me. We'll watch it together. It'll be a whole thing. You can tell me when it's on. And then, well, you can tweet me, and then I'll tweet you back, and we'll watch it together. It'll be perfect. Perfect. <laughs>